All right, so you're using ChatGPT and it is amazing. It's changing the way you work. But here's the problem. You're still doing all the work manually. Every time you copy and paste the same prompts over and over, you're literally wasting hours. What if ChatGPT worked for you even while you sleep? Right now, every time you receive a new email, a customer message, a report, you manually copy it, open ChatGPT, paste it in, wait for a response, and you do this over and over again. But what if ChatGPT could handle all of this automatically? No more copying, no more pasting, no more waiting. That's where AI automation comes in. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you our simple three-step method that will allow you to build pretty much any AI automation. Hi there, I'm Jan from 9X, and at 9X, we've trained over 2,000 business professionals to use AI and automation to improve the way they work. And today, I wanna to share with you our simple and straightforward framework that you can use today to start automating with ChatGBT, even if you have zero technical experience. So here's what you'll learn. First, we'll take a look at choosing the right automation tool. Then we'll show you how to connect your automation tool with ChatGBT. I'm then gonna share with you our simple three-step method to be able to build any AI automation. And lastly, we'll take a look at some real-world examples that you can apply today. So when it comes to selecting your right automation tool, I know this can be overwhelming. There are hundreds of automation platforms out there and new ones are coming up each and every day. So I just wanna share with you three that I can definitely recommend, and that is Zapier, Make, and Relay.app. Now, I'm not gonna get into a full breakdown comparing all the pros and cons of each of these platforms. There are already hundreds of videos like this on YouTube, so feel free to check those out. So just a sentence on each of them. Zapier is actually the tool that I used to get started with automating more than seven years ago. It's probably the most beginner friendly. Make is the tool that I'm currently using the most for my automations. It's probably the one that will allow you to go the furthest. And Relay.app is the new kid on the block. What's special about Relay is it has been built with AI in mind, so it has a lot of AI first features. But regardless of which of these automation platforms that you choose, the method to build out these AI automations is gonna be exactly the same. So once you've selected your automation platform of choice, you need to be able to connect ChatGPT to it. Now, some allow you to already start using ChatGPT for free, but in most cases, you're gonna need two things. First of all, a developer account, and next, an API key. Now, the developer account is important to differentiate. This is not the same as the ChatGPT account that you're using. Even if you have a paid ChatGPT account, you will need to set up an OpenAI developer account. Now, I have a full video outlining this process. It is super quick and super simple. So be sure to check that one out before you get started. So onto our three-step method that will allow you to build pretty much any AI automation. And it's simply get prompt transfer. Now you can see why it's going to be super easy to remember. Get prompt transfer, GPT. Pretty much any AI automation that you build will involve these three steps. So what does it mean? First of all, get means we need to start our automation by getting some data from somewhere. So that could be when a new email is received. Next, prompt. We're going to prompt chat GBT, and that could be to maybe come up with a proposed reply to the email. And finally, T, we need to transfer the result to whatever tool you need. So in the example of drafting an email, it might be to create an email draft in your Gmail account. So every automation you build will involve these three steps. Now they can obviously um, change in terms of complexity, but these are three core elements of every AI automation and very important for you to remember. Now let's take a look at some real examples that put this method into practice. So let's take a look at our first AI automation example. And this is one that is set up in Zapier. And what it does is it automatically replies to Google reviews using ChatGBT. So how does this get prompt transfer framework uh, apply in this automation? So first of all, we're getting um, some data whenever a new review is submitted to our Google business profile. These are the reviews that people leave via Google Maps. We are then prompting ChatGBT to come up to a reply to that review. And here we can give it some instructions about how it should handle positive reviews, how we like to handle maybe not so positive reviews. And lastly, we transfer the result of that ChatGPT answer its reply by basically posting the reply back to our Google business profile and answering that review. Now let's take a look at our next AI automation example, this time using make.com, but it again follows this get prompt transfer framework. So how does it start? First, we're getting some data from Google Sheets 
And in this case, it's a Google Sheets that contains hundreds of rows of customer feedback. We're then using a make a function called the text aggregator to add all of that feedback into one text that ChatGPT can then analyze. We then prompt ChatGPT saying, hey, look, here is all of our customer feedback. Can you look through it and identify what are the most common either feedback requests or pain points that our customers are having? And finally, we transfer the result and we can send a nice report perhaps to our product team saying, hey, look, we've analyzed all of our customer feedback. Here are the top five biggest requests or pain points that our customers are currently having. So let's take a look at our final AI automation. And this time we're using the new tool that I mentioned, Relay.app. And so what this one is doing, it's an AI blog article generator. So maybe perfect if you're working in marketing and need to come up with a lot of content. What it's doing here, it's again, getting data from Google Sheets. So imagine you have a Google Sheet set up where your team can add different blog article ideas and maybe another column for the keywords that should be included. We can then prompt ChatGBT and feed in those ideas and ask it to generate a blog article for us. And finally, we're gonna transfer the result by publishing that blog article to Webflow. But what you might notice here is a step that's particular to Relay, a really great feature that they've added, which is called human in the loop. So how this one works is we can choose to basically send and have a human approve what the AI has created. So this can be sent via email, Slack DMs, or a Slack channel. You need to assign it to a person and then you can put in here the result that ChatGPT has come up with and ask them to approve it. And only after they approve it, does it actually continue with the next step and finally transferring that result. So whether it's about publishing content and you wanna have a bit more control over it, or maybe you're having ChatGPT generate email replies and you don't just want the AI to directly send this off, this human in the loop is a great step to add into your get prompt transfer framework. Now, if you're looking for more inspiration to get started over on the 9X website, we have these free AI and automation tutorials. So these are step-by-step -step guides showing you how to build some of your first AI automations in a variety of use cases. So we've got things for sales, marketing, customer success, finance, product. Be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, if you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a like. Also click on the screen right now to subscribe to the 9X channel or to check out some of our other videos. Until next time, happy automating.